Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Star Citizen. I'm Father Gamer and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Colossus Bombs in your Crusader A2. And then once we figured that out we might even be a little bit naughty and go and find some players that we can bomb. So what do you say we begin? Okay so of course the first thing that we need to do is go and spawn our Crusader A2. And there is currently an event going on right now, so the servers are very busy, but we don't Welcome seem to be having any problems, luckily for us. System. I've actually got a little challenge for any of you watching who play Star Citizen. The first person that comes and finds me in the game right, and says, Father Gamer, I watch your videos, will receive 1 million credits from me in-game and might appear in a video. But you can't just type in chat because you can see my name in the server, you have to actually come up and face me first. Otherwise it'd be too easy. Joe you know, always kind of takes my breath away walking up to this from the ground level. It's very impressive. However, we are going to be going through the rear entrance today. So we're going to wait for our ramp to come down. This is so I can show you some of the firepower that we are going to be using. Let's get a nice view of it actually, of the ramp descending before us. It is going to be enough distance right out. Okay, we're not going to talk about that. The ramp landed perfectly in front of us, okay? Right, so these are the bombs that we're going to be using today, the Colossus bombs, and they are deadly. But I'm gonna go ahead and meet you over at the bridge so we can get going. Power up the engines. Yeah, that's so cool. Now, we have only got four of these Colossus bombs and they are pretty expensive to replace, but I don't mind because I've got quite a bit of money and, you know, video content is video content, isn't it? So, we're just waiting for these hangar doors to open up. Now, it is a little bit slow. I probably should have opened them up before. We should probably just choose where we're going to go. Now, I'm thinking we should maybe go to Crusader because I'm thinking there's going to be more players here and also less lawful players. So, if we do end up bombing someone, we don't have to feel as guilty about it. So, first we're going to head off to Crusader and then on to Daymar and then we're going to find a nice little spot on the surface. But let's engage our quantum drive and I will see you guys when we arrive. And we are arriving at Daymar. Now we just need to find ourselves a nice little spot on the surface. I have to make these little cuts in the video otherwise it would just be far too long. But I don't know, maybe you guys would like that. Longer videos, you'd have to let me know about that one. But anyway, now that we're here the way that you activate your Colossus bombs is the same way that you activate missiles in your ship if you made a mouse button. And then once you've done that you should see you have a little circle which you can use to put over your target and then if you hold T it's going to lock your target in place. Now you're ready to go so you can see this little green circle you want to keep that in the center so that you stay aligned with your target. You want to make sure that you're at least 1,000 meters or more in the air, otherwise the radius is going to destroy your ship. Believe me, I know from experience. So we're going to move forward slowly, not too quick because it might be hard to get it spot on, but you see the little green dot coming up there? Once that's in the circle, we're going to hit our target, but ideally you want to get it dared on into the center dot right there, and then left click to drop the bomb. Now if we quickly jump into the spectator camera we can watch it deploying away towards the ground. Now from this height it is going to take a little while to hit the ground and players can shoot it down if they see it coming just so you're aware of that. But it will destroy anything that's down there. As you can see that was quite a large radius. Just for reference this over here that's a mountain and you saw how big that explosion was. To my knowledge, there is not a ship in the game right now which can withstand that. But what do you say we go put it to the test and see if we can find one? So I've just been doing some sneaking around over at Brio's Breakers Yard and I've noticed a couple of players are just parked there. Most likely inside selling some scrap or some not so legal substances. So I'm just going to go ahead and plant my target right over there because Currently, they're not inside their ships. They're most likely in the shop trying to sell their cargo. So, the fact that they're not inside their ship is great for us and not good for them because it means by the time that they see us coming, if they do, it's going to be too late for them. They're not going to have any time to escape. So, we're just going to begin our bombing run right now. Bombs away! 
Okay, let's get a good look at this. Oh, you can see the lights are on down there as well. I think they're... One of them is definitely an Andromeda. And I'm not sure what the other one is, but it's big. There it goes. There goes our bomb. Now, this is going to take a little while to drop. There is always the possibility that the owners of these ships aren't down there. And that they've just bedlogged. And they're not here right now. But I doubt it because this isn't a safe zone. And it'd be a pretty silly place to log off. Leave yourself vulnerable. There we go. <laughs> wow. Okay. We have confirmed kills. We have a crime stat too. And we're a criminal. Destruction of vehicle. Yeah. Okay. Let's go have a look. See if uh, we can see what's going on. There we go. We have a confirmed C2 kill. I don't think there was any cargo inside of it. Because you'd see it scattered all over the place. Like the guns there. Let's have a go over here. Yeah. Okay. We've got the Andromeda as well. Everything was destroyed. Still not seeing any cargo, I don't think. Just a few guns and a lot of pieces. Do you know what? Let's, to, let's just land so we can take a closer look. Just in case we're not seeing it. There might still be some stuck inside. We don't know. Just wondering on the best place to land. We don't want to stick around too long in case some vengeful players decide to come back and visit us. Or some other players come along and see what's happened here and decide to try and capitalise on it themselves. Let's just touch down here and have a quick look at the Andromeda and then we can just run over to the C2, double check things over there. Ooh, a bit of a sketchy landing there, but we are good. Obviously bring a multi-tool with you in case there is any cargo boxes or if you want to collect the guns to sell, which you can do. Make sure you bring a weapon as well because you never know, there might be some survivors. I very much doubt it, but you never know. There was no cargo in the Andromeda, but I can see that we've got uh, a box here and a box inside as well. What have we got here? Corundum. Okay. So there's a little box there and a big box there. That's actually quite cool. I didn't see that from above. It was worth coming down here. Let's have a quick look inside. Yeah, nothing else. All right, well, let's take the big one back and then run it over to our ship. This is actually going to take a little bit of time. I probably should have landed this side, but never mind. We'll get back eventually and I'm gonna skip it forward for you guys okay so we're back and I'm just finishing off loading them couple of boxes into the A2 and while I was doing all that running around I was just thinking to myself this is quite a cool way to do piracy isn't it just drop a bomb on some unexpected players and then steal the cargo and put it into your A2 that might be something I consider doing in a future video perhaps maybe we should go down the piracy route for a little bit but then again, I was thinking of buying the uh, Corsair, which I still have enough money for right now. Because that's quite a good ship for shooting, and it's got a bit of cargo space. But that's for another time. For now, let's concentrate on getting the hell out of here. Because the owners of those ships could still always be on their way over here to take their sweet revenge. Or, you know, just any player could turn up in general and try and capitalise on what's just happened here. But I'm pleased with what we've done today. I've managed to teach you guys how to use your bombs in the A2. I mean, we've got a little bit of cargo, nothing much really, but I suppose it's a little bonus. It's gone quite well. We've got a nice, beautiful scene behind us to finish off the day. Yeah, this has been very successful. You should let me know what you want me to do next time. Yeah, so I now officially have a crime stat. I'm a wanted criminal, which means I can't go to any of the stations, except for Grim Hex, but I ain't got time to go all the way over there. So we're going to be logging off in our ship. We're going to just bed log over here. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and learned everything you need to know about the A2 bomber. If you have, you can like the video for me. And of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more. I'm Father Gamer. Bye for now.